Manchester United vs Fulham, let's quickly run through the player rating. So in goal, Andre Onana for me, 6 out of 10. I think it was an average performance. I think his distribution was off today. Let's be honest. Um, listen, it was a great game by the whole team. You won the game, but Andre Onana's distribution was off. I think his claiming from crosses on the other hand though was really, really good. Um, he claimed quite a few good crosses, was quick with his distribution. And overall, did have a really, really good game. So Onana, give an average 6. Um, it's a big season for Anana. He's got to prove himself. He can't make any silly errors, but yeah, it's just an average today. Right back, Masrari for me at seven. I think he played about seventy five minutes. Looked really, really good in the seventy five that he played. To be honest with you, um, he was sharp for only a couple of training sessions. He did look really fit. I think he did have to start the game because Eric Ten Hag didn't have anyone else to put put there. Um, I think defensively he was really, really good. Um. I think it would have been another game if he came up against Adama, but he didn't. Um, I think defensively sharp, very, very good. Attacked well. Um, and his quality was really, really good. I think he's an exciting player for, for the cheap price. You know, the Eric Den Hag system. He's very, very good on the ball, comfortable. Um, and certainly a great, great debut by him. Now, right centre back, Maguire. Another colossal performance. I think his performance went under the radar today. I think people are talking about Casemiro, Martinez, but I think... Maguire was really, really good. I would give him a 7 as well. I think you look at the way that he played. He went off um, similar time to Masrari, to be fair. He did do an okay job. He was physical in his duels. I mean, that chance where it was 2v1, he defended it superbly well. Yeah, really, really happy with Maguire. Don't know where he's going to be in terms of the pecking order when Euro comes back. He's looking like it'd be Martinez and Dillard in the next game. But he's got to be fighting to start. Left centre-back, Martinez. Brilliant. Um, Good on the ball. Quick again. Great, great tackle against Triori. Good battle there. In the box, good. Um, I think he's very excited to play with Delit. I think you can see the partnership they're going to have. High line, squeeze up the press. And that's going to be something that we need. So, yeah, very, very happy with that. Left back. Delo, I think he did an okay job. Listen, it's hard when a right foot plays a left back just to balance. But Delo has played it before. He put in a few good crosses defensively. Didn't really get that skinned. I thought it would be a tough game against Adama Traore. But in that first half, it was a bit tough. But after that, it went really, really fine for Delo, to be honest. I think Delo, he probably wants to play right back. But with Maswari there, he's probably going to be happy taking our left back role right now. I think we've got to really sort that defensive berth. And I think we do need a left back. Um, into midfield now, Casemiro. Listen, Casemiro was one of the standout performers today. I think 7 out of 10. He looked sharp, he got around the pitch, he had a few shots, I mean, in that first half, he was all around the pitch, making tackles, leading the press at one point, like, Casemiro is an influential player, and when he's on it, he's on it, I've seen him today, um, with the fans when he came in, he signed everyone's shirts, like, he's such a huge influential figure, a key player for this United team, so, yeah, I think if we can get him, keep him fit, keep him to the performances that we've seen today, there's a very, very good player there in Casemiro, so I'd give him a 7 out of 10. Next to him, Manu. I'm going to have to give him a 6.5. I think Manu was okay. Um, I think Manu is a good game when it's kind of end-to-end. -end. It wasn't really like that today. I think it was a it was end to end but I think Manu today is 6.5. There was a lot of good skills, a lot of good passing. Keeps it simple, knows what to do. Big season ahead for him, but yeah, it's a 6.5 for me. Bruno from... Oh, it was Mason Mount. He actually started in that number 10. Listen, Mason Mount... I don't, I don't know what's going to happen because I don't want to say he doesn't have a future at the club because that would be just harsh to say it's only his second season. But you don't really see where he's going to play. He didn't set the world on fire with that number 10 role. He did find it difficult at times. Um, and yeah, you don't see where Eric Ten Hag is going to play him. I mean, it it does right now seem like a waste of 60 million. Um, listen, he had a few good touches, had that one chance. But other than that, you got to give him an average six, unfortunately. I think he's one of the first players... Kind of be subbed off if he does start. We see if Ten Hag wants to use him off the bench. But if he wants to be starting for United, which ultimately should be the aim. Where would he start number one? But he has to be getting his name down. And he has to be putting 100% in for the glimpses that and for the chances he's going to get. Because I don't think... He, he didn't really impress today, if I'm honest with you. Um, on the left, Rashford again. 5.5. I think Rashford today didn't look right. I mean, you compare him to Garnacho on that left. They're just two different players. Um, and yes, Rashford, people are talking about his pace in behind. You know what's going to happen with Rashford. That's why people play him due to his pace and the unpredictability. 
but he just didn't offer anything today. He didn't look confident, a bit wayward on the ball. And yeah, listen, I think what Rashford needs is probably to be dropped just for his own good, to kind of know that he needs to work his way up. And he got it in that spot. Up front, Bruno, I think, should have scored, what, three, four goals today. Got to give him a 6.5 for that. I think he missed a crucial crucial chances. And if you look at it, if we lose the game, Bruno's going to be getting pelted for the chances that he missed. So, listen, we know he's our captain. We know he's going to stay. We know that it's an okay performance by him. But still, we expect a lot more from Bruno. I think he expects a lot more from himself, to be honest with you. But, yeah, six. Yeah, average six will do. Um, On the right, Ahmad. And lucky to get hooked. I mean, he at the front three, if it's Rashford starting, he's unlikely to come off. Which I think Eric Ten Hag has that obsession with Rashford's going to score a goal with his pace, which ultimately I don't think he will. But listen, Rashford, no doubt, is a quality player. But in a game like this, you have to be crucial and you have to take off Rashford. But listen, Ahmad for me, and maybe a six as well, I'll give him. Um, I want to sub Xerxes, seven, great goal, great confidence booster for him play with the match. Let's see if we can build on this momentum. Carnacho, a 6.5, got the assist. Um, came on, affected the game well. I think Delit got him an average six, to be honest. Same two with Johnny Evans. Um, McTominay, six as well. That was all the subs now. Eric Ten Hag, listen, first, first game of the season, three points. A lot of positive to take debuts and much, much more. I think you've got to give Eric Ten Hag some credit. So I'd give him a 7 out of 10 um, for the first play rating show. Let me know your thoughts anyway. We are in a different surrounding, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned. Now, I'm out of the match. It would be Dirksy. Great debut goal. Great finish. It's a very, very good finish. I mean, when you see it in the game, you don't really notice that. But what a finish it was. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.